Hi, this is Patrick from JDM Gems. Today we're going to be working on a 1989 Honda Acti. The service we're going to be performing is the O-ring on the distributor. The tools we're going to need are a screwdriver, a 12 mil, and needle nose pliers. The reason for this service is I noticed whenever I was doing the timing belt, there was some oil at the bottom of the timing cover, and none of the cam seals or the valve cover was leaking externally, so it ended up being the distributor. If you notice, I put my fingers, there's some oil residue on the bottom of here. So we're going to be replacing that O-ring. First we're going to remove all the vacuum hoses from the distributor. I don't like to remove this particular vacuum hose from this nipple because I've had this nipple break a few times. So I'll go ahead and take it off right here since it's easily accessible. Then we'll just unplug these spark plug wires. All right. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the screwdriver to scribe the metal and the distributor so that I know the orientation of which I need to put this back in. And I don't have to retime the engine. Let me get some of So the screwdriver I had was a little bit too blunt, so I couldn't get into the into this corner that well. So I used a uh, a pick instead. And that's it. Next, what we're going to be doing is removing the two 12 mil bolts that hold the distributor on to the engine. There's going to be one that's accessible from the top right here, and the other one is accessible from the bottom. we got one. All right, so the second bolt is going to be underneath, pretty close to the exhaust manifold. Same thing, it's just a 12. All right, that's out. So before we pull it out, I do have something to catch the oil underneath here, because some oil will come out. I'm just going to yank it out just like that. Just snake it up. Now there is one ground wire attached here, so we can't pull it all the way out, but this is perfectly fine. Okay, that's it. So before I put the O-ring on, I'm going to clean the distributor up just a little bit. Now use a pick or flathead to get the old O-ring out. So I'll be putting a new O-ring on now. And you can see how much more pliable it is than this old one. This one is about, it's cracking and I don't know if you can see that, it's just very hard. All right. So before we put it back together, I'm just gonna put a few drops of oil on the O-ring, just so it goes in nicely. And then at this point, this vacuum hose looks a little bit soft right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it, just since I have it out. And you can kind of see here that it's like bottleneck right there. So I already got the new vacuum hose on, I'm just gonna slip this through. So one thing before we put this in, make sure that the ears on this little rotor piece slip into the cam. So you might have to spend some time getting this aligned by feeling out the cam. And there, 
just slipped right in. Okay? And before we remove the pressure of your hand, because it's going to want to back out, try to thread this bolt in, just so the distributor doesn't pop out on you. Okay, and it's just hand tight right now. So we'll just leave it like that for now. So I'm gonna get the top one in first, just so I can see my alignment marks. Whenever I tighten this down, I can get it aligned to how it was before we took it out. Okay, now what we can do is put all the hoses back. And then the spark plug wires. So we're pretty much done on top. All we gotta do is put the last 12 mil bolt in and we're done. So lastly, we're gonna put this bottom bolt in. Get it wrist tight and looks good. Alright. Next we're gonna be checking to make sure the o-ring doesn't leak. To do that we're just gonna simply turn it on and crawl under there to make sure there's no oil leaking. It's been running for about 30 seconds to a minute. There's no oil leaks on the ground. So whenever you finish by putting everything back together, start the engine and have it running for about 30 seconds to a minute. And just check underneath it just to make sure there's no leaks. So if you do happen to have an Acti or Honda Street or a Honda Today or anything that has an EO7A, uh, I did happen to buy a whole bunch of these in bulk. So if you do want one, they're about $10 uh, shipped to your house anywhere in, in the United States. So these are custom made and this was our test to make sure that they worked and don't leak. And it turns out to be pretty close to the exact size. So this is the original one, and this is the custom made one. It's the exact same size. So if you didn't want one of these, reach out to us at our Instagram at JDM Gems Imports. So it's JDM underscore Gems underscore Imports. Or you can message us on our YouTube channel if you would like to order a set of these. And see you on the next repair. So the old one is so brittle that it actually snapped in half right here. Always check this on your 88 through 99 Acties. Is that how you check it? Yes, that's how you check it. If you can do that, then you're good. Otherwise, this happens.